Welcome back. Well, Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito warning that Americans' personal freedoms, like religious liberty and free speech, are being imperiled by strict lockdowns across the country. Listen. The pandemic has resulted in previously unimaginable restrictions on individual liberty. We have never before seen restrictions as severe, extensive, and prolonged as those experienced for most of 2020. The entirety of his remarks are very much worth listening to. His comments have already sparked backlash. Here to discuss, Senior Counsel and Director of the Center for Christian Ministries with Alliance Defending Freedom, Ryan Tucker. Ryan, thank you so much for being with us this morning. So why, why the me. backlash? Uh, can a just, or is a justice not allowed to you know, pontificate based on uh, what, how he sees the law being applied today? Well, all Justice Alito is really doing is he's reading from his past decisions. He's recounting over the last several years the attacks that have taken place on our, our freedom of uh, religion, of free speech, uh, of assembly. And so he's merely recounting what he's already said in opinions that uh, have been issued by the court or rulings that the court has given. So, Ryan, then why then do you get backlash like this? Here's a partial tweet uh, from Senator Elizabeth Warren. She wrote, Supreme Court justices aren't supposed to be political hacks. This right wing speech is nakedly partisan. I didn't hear anything about Republicans or Democrats, per se, just, you know, restrictions on churches. Um, again, why the blowback? Is it because uh, it's resisting government control? I, I think so. And, uh, you know, it's it, the, the words that, that he stated were, were, were truth and, and they're difficult. I mean, these last uh, several uh, months, we have seen an extensive amount of government overreach. We represent, for example, uh, Calvary Chapel, Dayton Valley in Nevada. And that's one of the uh, instances the, that was mentioned in that video. And there, casinos are open at 50% capacity, whereas at the time we filed our lawsuit on behalf of that church, the church doors were limited to 50 people. So you can have thousands of people at a Las Vegas casino uh, playing a blackjack and, and craps on the casino floor. But if you happen to have a few dozen people inside a church, then those individuals are subject to civil and criminal penalties. So that's absolute insanity. And uh, yes. th there shouldn't be any backlash on that. I mean, is any other example needed when you lay it out like that? I mean, you also have in, in my, unfortunately, my home state of New Jersey, Governor Murphy saying the Bill of Rights is above his pay grade. When you have governors and others speaking in that manner, thank goodness we have Supreme Court justices who look toward first principles and are willing to defend them. Uh, Ryan Tucker, thank you very much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.